guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be working on my uh, my snow blower. It's getting ready to snow here soon, so I wanna be prepared. I have one over there, but I wanna make sure this one is working as well, so I have a good backup. All right, uh, in case you guys ran into this issue where you go in to prime your your uh, snow blower, and then you start seeing gas leaking out of there as you're priming it. Uh, well, that's usually because the gasket on your, your carburetor has gone bad. So easy fix, the carburetors are real cheap. So I'm gonna walk you through how to change your carburetor. I have the uh, Murray uh, eight horsepower, 24 inch uh, one. And, uh, but this right here, same procedure would be the same on most snowblowers out there. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is definitely go ahead and order a new carburetor for yours. <laughs> But you're going to remove the uh, shutoff key, um, and you're going to want to remove. Now it could be different depending on your model, but mine, I'm going to need to remove this cap right here. And then I want to remove. I have a eight millimeter over here, a couple of Phillips, and I think I have a eight millimeter over here as well. So I want to go ahead and get all of those removed. Yes, All right. So there's our carburetor there that we're gonna to need to replace. All right, from what I can tell, it should be pretty easy. One screw here and then another one on the other side. Like the Phillips. Hopefully they turn. All right, not bad for that one. I'm gonna leave it in a little bit until I'm able to break the other one free. Kind of have to eyeball that one because it's not as visible. Please forgive my uh, pink fingers. I was helping my daughter dye the tips of her hair. And I didn't put the gloves on. Okay, got the inside one off. That one was a little tough to get off, uh, but got it out of there. And now I should be able to start pulling the uh, fuel holes off right here. That should get out a bit if I get that out of there. It's starting to get dark out here, so. Gotta get this uh, fuel line off right here. That's the main fuel line I gotta get off right there. So. All right, so right now we're in my office. We're going to change out the uh, new one for the old one, but we have to transfer some parts over onto the uh, new one. So here's the new one. And now they're all specific for your make and model. So actually the first one I ordered off of Amazon was slightly different. Uh, this was over here different. It didn't have the holes over here that I needed to attach the bracket. Uh, up here was a slightly different too. It looked almost the same, but once I got it, I realized it wasn't. So I found that one, one that was more exact what I needed. And that, so this is the one that I, I'm going to be taking off. As you can see, the tops are quite similar. Um, over here, I have to transfer this bracket onto here. So it actually has the mounting holes down here for that, to mount that on. And I think there's another bracket I need to change over to. Uh, I can't recall. Oh, over here on the front here as well. Uh, that needs to come off and gets mounted right here. Uh, underneath looks pretty similar too as well. So I'm going to transfer, and you also get a replacement gasket with it as well. So I'm going to transfer everything over from here uh, to this one.
Cut that off. Move it out of there. Set this aside because we're not done with it yet. Bring that over and this should just slip back underneath there and rest right on here. I think I can turn that a little bit. And everything lines up perfectly. All right, we'll set this back down and we'll bring this one back up. And we're going to need to remove these two. Those are quarter inch, I believe. So I'll bring this over. All right, I'll set that to the side for now. That's over, and I'll take it. And you see the little horseshoe curve of opening? Point it down that way you can always have access to that adjustment bolt screw right there. All right, so I'll take one final look to make sure I transferred over everything that needs to be transferred over. All right, so everything looks good from this direction. All parts are off and transferred over. The bracket from that end is now transferred over. Nothing else seems to be needed. Here, this piece on the front is transferred over. Nothing there, and this side where you got the fuel line that feeds into it, uh, that's just where I cut the holes off on there, so that rubber part don't matter, but the connection is there. So everything looks uh, ready to be uh, mounted out. So we'll take this now out to the uh, garage. We'll move into the garage because it got a bit colder out. We have snow coming soon, so I definitely want to have this up and running. So I'll take my gasket, the new carburetor, we'll go outside uh, to the garage and get this uh, connected up. All right, so I'm back out here at the uh, snowblower and I haven't dealt with it in, a, <laughs> in probably a couple of months since the, I shot the first part of the video. Uh, but we got snow coming soon, so I started out, thought I'll start getting back on it. Now, if you guys remember when I took it off from over here, I had to cut the uh, fuel line over here because it was kind of seized onto the, uh, to the carburetor. And the fuel line runs through the middle of there and it comes out on this side over here, uh, through there. And the fuel tank, uh, so you know, here it is right here, sets right up up in there. All right. So it was pretty tight up in there and I had to squeeze, pull it out hard. I don't know if I'll be able to get it back through there without taking this apart and I'm not planning on doing that. So I picked up some fuel line that if needed, I can just run it around to the other side, okay? So that may be what I'm gonna do. All right, so hopefully I have all the parts for this. <laughs> gasket right here I need to put on. My memory is a bit shady about how I took this apart, so be kind. All right, so it's two lines. So I ran the fuel line from the outside. I run it a little longer so that if I need to trim some off, I can, because I definitely can't add it. All right, now that's on. And we have this line here 
it goes into that section right there. So the fuel line goes into the bigger one. And this smaller one over here, this smaller one over here requires this small fuel line. This air line right here, that is. Vacuum line. So I'll put that on. And I need to connect up the uh, butterfly too. And I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but there is this right here that needs to connect up to the butterfly. Vacuum line on last. I'll just make sure it's down there. It's gonna be like that. So first I wanna get this butterfly in. Now I need to get my gasket and the two screws that hold it in. All right, I lost the uh, original bolt somewhere, who knows, but I found some, uh, found some others that I put together that I'll use.
one side in. Go. Right. I need to tighten those up a little better. Probably back them off a little bit and put a little lock tight on there because this vibrates a lot. And just putting a nut on there isn't going to be good enough because that will just shake his weight off. So I'll put, I'll put some red like tight on there to keep that on there really good. All right, so that's basically how you connect it all up. Making sure to do your vacuum line, your fuel line, uh, bolt it up up to the uh, engine with the two bolts. Uh, make sure your butterfly over here is connected to the one piece. All right, so I couldn't get it to go at first, but there is a screw right here. You see that bigger screw? The other one is just you push it in and check to see if fuel in there. Fuel leaks out, you know you got fuel getting into the carb, right? But the bigger one, I guess it comes in a closed off position and it wouldn't let the fuel go through to get into where you, we need to get up to the spark plug. Um, so I end up backing it off maybe just a little bit and let's see here and I think I got it now so I'll primer a couple of times and now I'll push the button. <laughs> carburetor on this puppy uh if you like definitely hit that like button and hit that subscribe button too as well thanks for joining